All right, guys. So now I'll show you how to use that disintegration action. What we're going to do is open the file you want. Now, this is the steps that you have to take, so it's got to be specific. We'll make a new layer and name it brush. If you don't keep it as a background layer, lock, and you don't make a layer named brush, it's not going to work properly. So make sure you do it this way. And we're going to brush. There's a whole different ways you could do it, but I'm going to show you how I did the effect on mine. So get the brush tool. And pretty much we'll just, uh, I'm just going to do what I did, just so you can see. So we're going to just highlight the parts that you want. Okay. And then I'm going to hit left, so it'll go to the left. Well, I'm going to hit right, so it'll go right. Make sure the brush layer is activated, and then you're going to hit play to start the action. Okay, now that it's finally done, you could see that it, uh, well, you can see for one that it changed the color. So if you don't, all these are color layers. If you don't want to keep the color different, just take this off and it'll take it back to the color that you had. Okay. And then also, I don't know why my computer's going so slow. Anyway, you score down here, sandstorm, star broken up. Let me zoom out into layers here. So we could take out the clouds. We could take out the density. And it's all customizable depending on how small the brush is, which is why I did it with the smaller brush. If you were to change the brush to a larger size and did that, it would be of the effect. So we are going to, I'm just gonna keep it like this just to show you guys. But anyway, all these are customizable. Like if you wanted to highlight one of these, let's see which one is this. Okay, so these are the large particle blurs up here. You could select that if you want. Move those around, transform it. But yeah, that's pretty much how you use this. It's just an action, so play with it however you want.